There's a new core experimental module coming in Drupal 9.3. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Hi, and welcome to OS Tips from OS Training. My name's Rod Martin. Drupal 9.3 is just around the corner at the time of this recording. And when you update to it, you'll see a brand new core experimental module. It's been a long time since we've seen one there. And of course, this is Drupal's new approach to software development. We're seeing incremental changes instead of waiting five, six, or seven years for something new in core, we're getting new things all the time. And we saw this in Drupal 8 with both the media module and layout builder, and of course, other things. This is pretty exciting. Well, of course, I'm talking about CK Editor 5. Let's take a look. I'm at ckeditor.com slash ckeditor-5. And this is the landing page for the project. Now, of course, we're not going to get all of the CK Editor goodness in our Drupal version because dragging and dropping a video into the body, well, that makes no sense when we have the media manager. But it is really nice and really powerful. And you can read all about it here. It is definitely the next generation of CK Editor. Right now, you'll need Drupal 9.3 RC1 in order to see it. And of course, you're not going to run this on a production environment. Well, let's go ahead and turn it on. Under Extend, you're going to see Core Experimental. I have Admin Toolbar installed on this particular site. And there's CK Editor 5. And a reminder again, Core experimental modules are not for production. Scroll down, click Install, and it gives me that warning. Absolutely, I'm ready to go. You'll update this under Text Formats and Editors in the Configuration area. I'm going to update Basic HTML. And all you've got to do at this point is change it from CK Editor to CK Editor 5. When Drupal 10 launches, CK Editor 5 will be the default. Well, you'll see the new buttons. They're really nice, much more pleasant to look at. But there's still some things that Drupal just doesn't do out of the box. You'll still need Linkit or EXT Link or some other module to improve the linking in CK Editor, especially if you want to link to internal nodes. Also, we can drag and drop the media icon in and drag and drop the old one out, and that will work just fine. But at the time of this recording, there are no contributed modules that are quite ready for CK Editor 5. Let's take a look in a node. And click Save. And go down to Content, Add Content, and Article. And when you create a new node, at least in the experimental stage, the text area is pretty small. But it grows as you add text, and it will continue to grow. You'll never have to scroll in the body field again, which is really nice. Well, it does everything you would expect it to do. I can bold. I can do an unordered list and an ordered list. Again, everything you would expect this to do. I can create block quotes. And I can insert media. Now, at this point, I can't really format the media. I can create a link for it. And I can override the media alternative text. I can't change the formatting yet, but I'm sure that's coming. Back up on the toolbar, of course, you've got the typical headings, view the source code, and all of this is, of course, customizable. As I mentioned earlier, the link button is still kind of useless until you add Linkit or some other module to allow yourself to quickly link to internal nodes as well as creating external links. Here on the Drupal 9.3 Beta 1 page, you see the introduction of CK Editor 5. You should look at this page for the instructions. There's really no mention of it here in the RC1 release notes. So take a look there first. Of course, this is intended to get ready for Drupal 10, which will include CK Editor 5 out of the box. So I, for one, was pretty excited when the Drupal project moved to an ongoing process of incremental improvements in Drupal over time. This is awesome. And the fact that we're starting to see core experimental modules coming into Drupal again, 
getting ready for Drupal 10 is, well, pretty encouraging. Well, thanks for watching today. My name's Rod Martin. This is OS Tips from OS Training. We release a new video every week. We'd love you to subscribe, check it out, and we'll see you next time.